Hey everybody, uh, KJ6BBS, uh, Chris here with you. Um, we're going to be discussing a little bit of a new topic um, of late. I know I'm sorry I haven't been doing a lot of ham radio demos, but this is a modular synthesizer, a modular synthesizer, uh, called, usually called a Euro rack. And I'm just going to walk you through some of the custom things that I did here because this is not your standard uh, buy it all from one company and have it in nice one big package. You kind of put everything together yourself. And um, I really took that to heart by um, researching it and finding all the parts that I wanted rather than being forced to buy something that... Uh, basically just didn't fit my needs. Um, so anyway, the rack, this box, that the container that it's in, is a nice wooden uh, custom made, well not custom made, but home handcrafted um, uh, Euro rack case. Um, I bought it from a company called ADAC Systems in Portugal, really nice people, uh, really got the shipment here fast through customs and everything. Um, and they also sell um, power supplies with a passive bus board. That's this little thing down, this green thing down here. I'll get into that later. But the, um, the company that sold that also sold power supplies, which were pretty pricey for a basic power supply. Um, so I opted out of that. And basically it installs inside the case. I didn't want any of the... Uh, you know, AC stuff that comes from the power supply to be bouncing around inside the box affecting the uh, electronics that create the sounds. Uh, I've, when I was researching it, people said that um, it creates a lot of uh, disharmonics and might affect the sound quality. So I stayed away from having the power supply on the inside and the option was getting this tip-top audio uh, powered uh, linear uh, switching power supply. Here's the switching mechanisms here that they've made. And then you can have this in here, uh, and I this doesn't tip top end audio doesn't make this for this particular rack. So what I had to do is kind of fudge it myself, and uh, it doesn't match the mounting points. He has all these like pre-done mounting points for his own custom uh, ADAC systems custom uh, power uh, bus board passive bus board. So I had to <laughs> drill more holes on the back here. I don't know if you can see them in the dark, but I basically added more screw holes other than the ones that he has to mount that bus board onto the case so that it was nice and comfy in there and then i bought some computer supports they're kind of like back here but there's probably not going to be enough light of course there there's one up in the top left there that's just to mount it to keep it off the wood so that none of the circuitry on the back end is is tapping the wood um and then the tip top audio also sold this thing called at the access the tip top access which basically is just a switch with a port for the power supply to come in the external power supply that's right here um this i just picked up from mouser tip top recommended this particular model the 12 volt 5.5 amp um external power supply which plugs right in to this jack here so i can't do that because i got them holding the camera um, and then the problem was this axis thing only went to this point and the cord was too short. So I had to mount, I w ideally wanted this off to the side so that the power cord wouldn't affect all my patching that went on. And if you know what modular synths do, it's cables plugged into the modular and then patching them into other ones. So I didn't want the power cord to interfere with that. So I went to the hardware store today uh, and Radio Shack, picked up terminals, disconnectors, and uh, female and male disconnectors, and then ran another, I don't know, two or three inches into another one and then plug those in. Um, the guy at Tip Top recommended that I not get it, make it too long because it might affect the ability for the switch to ground. So um, I'm hoping that doesn't do anything, but I don't think it will. It's only a couple more inches and it gets this, this access um, jack off to the side and away from everything else. And we will fill all this space in <laughs> it's a nine unit rack system so there's plenty and then I bought my first uh, my first installation here the uh, standard VCO VCO stands for voltage controlled oscillator and basically is the primary or standard uh, noise maker that's where you get your all your different waveforms 
and then you can manipulate them and have them work however you want through control voltage or just uh, it creates its own noise. But you can find very, pretty much a lot of videos on YouTube that explain what the A110 VCO from Dopefur makes. Um, but I just wanted to show you guys, in case you're thinking about getting into modular synthesis or anybody else who watches this, um, you don't really need to buy a prepackaged system. You can set up your own thing by a Frankenstein synthesizer. I know it's a bad name, but it works. And uh, oh, one more thing I wanted to show you is this is what I really liked about this case was the dovetailed corners. Everything is, is really nice. It looks like he burns the edges to kind of give it that dark look. And eventually I will be finishing it. So it's nice. It's nice hard wood. And um, can't wait to fill this thing in and actually get some some parts going on here. So here's a little bit of a better picture of what you can see, what a, what a modular synth looks like. And uh, that's it. So hopefully I will continue on more and showing you guys what it can do. With uh, Eventually we'll get to actually producing audio from this thing. And oh, one more thing, I might want to show you it powering up. So... <laughs> Because this is the most coolest part aspect of it. I'm just going to put the camera down real quick. And all right, we're back. And so basically, I just plugged the external power supply in, and it's as simple as that. Everything turns on. You get some blue lights. There's three lights over here on the right we'll, that will verify that you're getting all the necessary power you need to the system. And uh, all right, signing off. 73 is KJ6BBS.